Hello everybody, this is Arathas and welcome to Gladius Relics of War and the Necrons campaign which I'm going to be playing on the very hard difficulty with the recommended number of players for the huge map size. If this is your first time watching one of my Gladius videos and you are curious about the other factions, I do have videos up doing a quick uh, faction showcase on all of them. I have a recently completed Imperial Guard or Astra Militarum campaign on the channel and I have an ongoing multiplayer campaign where I'm playing as the Space Marines if you guys want to check that out. But without further ado though, let's get to conquering this planet for the Necrons. And on very hard difficulty, let's see how this goes for us. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, provided the game loads. <laughs> I've had very few bugs with this game though. Like the music. For eons, we waited. Waited for new life to cover our world. Life weak with the warp's tent. The time was ripe. Ripe to wake. To finally defeat the old ones. To take the galaxy for ourselves. Our old enemies left us a gift. One that tore the planet apart <laughs> and trapped us here. Okay, that's bad. This is a rude awakening, but this planet shall learn to fear the Necrons again. <laughs> that they will. Also, at this point, I mean, didn't they actually, at this point in the lore, didn't they actually defeat the Old Ones? Yeah, I thought the Old Ones were effectively murdered. And, <clears throat> excuse me, the only reason the Necrons went to sleep in the new lore was because they were so weakened from fighting the Satan and, fight and exterminating the Old Ones that they really couldn't fight the new Eldar Empire, basically. And so went to sleep until the Eldar faded, which they have. Either way, though, I don't think you're going to find old ones here, guys. Canoptic spiders allow you to erect a city that will form the backbone of your dynasty on Gladius to found your first city. Yep, I got it. Only on those hexes. Well, let's do it. Tramunzek. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I have absolutely no clue. I do love how strong the Necron Warriors were from my Faction Showcase video, though. Let's see... Where's my unit building? The Summoning Core, yep. Build me a Summoning Core. Start some research, too. Increases the production output. I do like that. Let's start quickly, then. <laughs> core Refinements. I don't need the Dimensional Corridor yet, because I don't have any other cities or monoliths. Buildings that produce... Yeah, I need the hippostyle or hypostyle temple. Yeah, I need all this, frankly, but... Let's start with core refinements. I like the production output to get more troops. Alright. That's all I can do. Let's move along. Hmm. Chapter 1, Scourge of the Old Ones. As the proud leader of a Necrontier dynasty, you'd never known defeat. Never until your people met the Old Ones and dared to attack their star-spanning empire. Your dynasty had been on the front line when the war with the Old Ones started and you were some of the first to face their wrath. Your fringe worlds were scoured and your core worlds besieged for generations. When the Satan called the Messenger, and now the Deceiver, promised your people immortality through biotransference into undying machine bodies, you snatched at it greedily. Later you betrayed him and his kind, shattering them into Satan shards now used as weapons. Wow. <clears throat> this is a long <laughs> opening quest. To no avail, sadly. Though your new soulless bodies were nigh indestructible, even as their empire collapsed, the old ones encircled your crown world and used their uncanny powers to trap you within it, driving their warp tre technology into its surface, binding you to the depths. You retreated to the underground stasis tombs that Zarek, the Silent King, had ordered constructed and waited for the final assault, which never came. Eventually, you slept, awaiting the Silent King's call. Now, 60 million years have passed and you've awoken into chaos. 
Signs of battles between the Old One's humanoid creations litter the surface, as do the ancient enemy's traps. These devastated your people upon awakening, leaving a few surviving tombs widely scattered. Through the warp storm, you can hear nothing from your overlord, Zarek. Where are the Old Ones? Who won the war? Well, technically you did. Is this another trap? Where are your Satan gods? We must investigate cautiously. Our first task is to quickly wake a cohort to defend against the Old One's forces. Produce warriors, invoke rapid rise, and construct summoning core. Gotcha. Working on all that. I would just say, though, that they kind of conflicted themselves in the story. It's like, what happened to the Satan? Well, you kind of set up here that you fucking shattered them into Satan shard, so, I mean, okay. <laughs> you know what happened. Okay, I'm going to send you this way. Oh, I, good move. I should have gone that way to begin with. You go this way. I'm not too worried about... <coughs> God damn, excuse me again. My apologies. Um, I'm not too worried about these guys running into wildlife. The Necrons can handle most of the wildlife themselves. The Necron warriors. Yeah, no, I can't do shit except explore right now, so... Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I need to get some canopti another canoptic spider built at some point, though. Hey, Croot Hounds! And I, I love that I can actually fortify these little outposts and just chill there for the extra defense. Well, extra healing. And range damage reduction. Okay, I wasn't quite sure that I had that option. Okay, I'm going to sweep up through here along the river. Alright, moving along. Oh, really? Not sure my city is at all at risk from Croot Hounds. And even if it were, I still have people nearby to deal with you. People. Creatures nearby to deal with you. Undead futuristic monstrosities. How about that? Hmm. You are very confident in your skills. <coughs> I don't even need to be involved anymore. I think I moved away. Oh, shit. I do need to get away from that. I'm not fighting enslavers this early. I cannot afford to lose my troops this early. I mean, I want this ore field, but... I do not want to mess with the damn... Uh, enslavers. Hmm... I'm going to move here, get away from the enslavers. I know the enslavers are protecting this artifact, though. Alright, let's just keep going along here. See what we find. Ooh, another outpost thingy. Alright, what's going on over here? One more turn till the end of the summoning core. Cool. And then the core refinements will be built. Yeah, he should fuck off and continue. How about no? I want this, but I'm not fighting the enslavers. With better tools and less constraints, the Cryptex and Canoptics are able to recover a higher proportion of the buried Necrons faster. Yeah, nah. You you just enjoy your shit over there until I have more warriors. I ain't fucking with um <laughs> with those bastards. Okay. So, produce Necron Warriors. Cool. Invoke Rapid Rise. I don't have the influence, so no, I'll wait a minute. I'll start claiming territory, though, because I... Looks like I really need to. <laughs> Let's go here for the ore. And frankly, I don't mind taking both of those. Uh, let's see. How about the ore output? Let's increase that. I like the increase of um, output that all these buildings seem to like to do. Like, I think I'm going to keep poking back this way to see if I can't get that. Damn it, the enslaver's still right there. I was hoping they'd backed the hell off. What do we get? Energy production, cool. 
I saw another... Yeah, right here. Do I have enough for Rapid Rise? I still do not have enough for Rapid Rise. Because if I do this... Yeah, it still takes 120. I mean, I do want to swarm... Oh, okay, good, he's taken off. Cool. He's not interested in fighting. Unless I get too close to the artifact, so... I am going to take this. And then I'm going to go back to exploring... I'm going to start exploring north, because I'm kind of ignoring that area. Oh, hey, guys. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Who did we just find? Hmm. That's going to be a not-so-fun experience. <laughs> hmm. Damn. I'll kill them the next turn because I want to exterminate them. Unless the enslavers come back around, then I'm taking off. Yeah, I don't mind claiming all these territories. I'm also looking, keeping an eye out for new Necron tomb cities. Well, things that I can turn into tomb cities. There we go. Nah, fuck you, dude. Trusted slaves is complete. Scourge the old ones. The living have spread across this world like weeds, particularly the virulent humans. The old ones' final curse, whose primitive dwellings cover the surface. Enslave them if you can, exterminate them if you cannot. Okay, I'm, I am gonna have to ask for people who are a little bit more... A little bit. A lot more up to... Um up to date on their Necron lore because I don't know all of the new Necron lore but I thought the old ones it was questionable if the old ones had anything to do with creating humans I thought they created uh, the orcs or the Krork and the Eldar didn't know they had anything to do with the humans did that change in the lore is that canon now that they modified humans as well or created them hmm I would be curious to know, so if one of you guys does know, please, by all means, let me know. <laughs> Alright, let's see who the hell is up here. Ah, that looks like a Fortress of Redemption, so... Okay, one of the other really strong early units. What's this? Oh, okay. I have to kill three scattered units. Okay, I can do that. Uh, no more warriors for now. I'm going to build... Honestly, I should build more summoning cores. But I also need resources, so... Let's throw down some of these. You know what? I can just keep Necron warriors being produced. It's fine. Uh, nebula scope, what does that do? Ignore range damage. Shelters, I'm gonna need that soon. Uh, let's go with Canoptic Spiders now. I would like them to clear out some of the terrain around me. Oh, hello! Do you want to do this? Like, dude, really? I mean, you know... Oh, wow, you hit me pretty hard. Allow me to return the favor. Hmm. I think I'm just going to leave the... Uh, this is the absolute edge of the map. That was a wasted movement. Okay, I should have gone this way. <laughs> Shit. That's fine. Oh, no, I'm hunting you down. Hey, now. I think we're gonna go play with these. Like, these Imperial Guard are gonna come back down for us. So I'm just gonna come down and deal with these ones. Uh, Ruins of all of Vol provided endurance. Oh, these implants. Yeah, I don't have anybody who can use the damn things. 
Alright, so I'm gonna jump back this way and try to track down this Imperial Guardsman. There he is. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, finish him off. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't be out in the open fighting this dude. And I don't have the influence to improve my health. Ooh, Necron Tomb right there next to the Space Marine territory. I am gonna have to make use of that. Okay, these warriors are stronger than my norm than the normal Imperial Guard. I shouldn't have that much of a problem killing them. <clears throat> uh, what's our population at? Oh yeah. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Sorry about that, guys. I'd love it if he goes over here and gets murdered by a Katachan devil. It looks like I get to sandwich him between him. Get him sandwiched between a Fortress of Redemption. And my Necron Warriors. Oh, look at this. But we march forward together. Uh, you just keep defending. You know what? Produce more warriors. Let's not fuck about. And then I'll try to produce a Canoptic Spider. Pretty sure the Canoptic Spider is going to be through a vehicle, I would imagine. Yeah, that's not going to help you. And the wire weed's probably gonna kill you. Though essentially an automated drone, a canoptic spider is nonetheless a formidable foe. Its vast array of self repair and backup systems, vital for enduring uncaring millennia, offer substantial protection against incoming fire. In return, any enemy that strays within reach of the canoptic spider will have flesh scoured from bone by a multitude of mechanical tools and pinchers. Yeah, or pincers, however you want to pronounce that. Oh, fuck you, enslavers. I have my own shit going on right now. How about you just, you know, mind your business. And finished. I love that there's a Necron tomb right there. They shall know the Necrons and no fear. I mean, kind of a rule of theirs that they don't know any fear, but hey. Let's go shelters now. And I'm going to get the other research, obviously, from the first level, but for now, <clears throat> I kind of just want... <clears throat> excuse me, I just want to get the population, and somewhere around here... <clears throat> is a building that will allow me oh I want the Baroque shrine for loyalty but I'm looking for that one the slave must the slave mustaba mostly because I yeah building that constructs new buildings also generates influence and loyalty I want a bunch of these so it'll let me create uh, buildings faster which will then let me make troops faster ooh atomic flares please tell me somewhere in here I can get flayed ones <coughs> It's just not a Necron army without some psychotic flayed ones running around, is it? The Bound Coalescent. Ooh. <laughs> I would like some Tesseract Vaults. <laughs> I don't know much about them except for the fact that they're dangerous as all hell. Oh. I see. Oh, hello. Space Marines. Whilst notionally the same race as the weak Astra Militarum, these beings have been heavily modified and trained themselves to the extent that they should be treated as a separate and much more dangerous faction. Well, fuck you too. Astra Militarum tries its best. Ow. Hmm. 
going to heal up, and then I'm going to take a shot at you. Yeah, once I kill this dude... These guys are going to come and try to deal with this dude. But for now, now that that's done... I feel like the Space Marines need to have a bit of a talking to. And this dude, once he's done, I'm going to send him up here. Give me a Canoptic Spider next, please. Nice. You asshole. Yeah, I can't do much to him at the moment. I'm gonna keep trying to murder him. Yeah, you guys just need to keep walking. We are about to have another Necron come join. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep pumping out troops. Fuck the Space Marines. Didn't you have backup at some point? Just see if we can't follow those dudes. Yeah, right there. Okay. Tomb City is still working. Also providing me with more resources. It's all the shit we need. Should probably put some influence buildings in, but I'm about to get shelters, and I know I need shelters very soon. Oh, you fucking off now? Mm-hmm. Thank you for the, the shelters. Fire away. Oh, ambles. Where the hell did that... Imperial Guardsman go? Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to keep pushing this way because I really want that slave Mastaba. So, Baroque Shrine is next. And then... The Accumulators, I think. I know I'm going to be relying overly much on my basic uh, equipment at this point, but I have no choice. Not if I want to get my production increased as high as possible. The hell? Are you com- I might have to have these guys back off just a little bit. More than just a little bit. He needs to back the hell off right now. Also, really damn irritated that you decided to chill in some damn... You decided to chill in some wire weed. Oh, look who can continue to stand his ground for a while. Yeah, nah, seriously, where the hell did these guardsmen go? that they are completely being left alone by the Ambles and the Katachan Devil. Alright. One more turn. Oh yeah, it'll give me enough energy now to build the other structure. You best fuck off with yourself. <clears throat> Dick move. Dick move, you damn crute. But the crute shall die now. You're gonna fire at him. Hi, guys. I know they're undercover and <clears throat> um, 
fairly well protected in those trees, but I am going to continue to take some shots at them. Like, seriously, where the fuck did this Imperial Guardsman go? Well, either way, I'm going to head this way and take this. Uh, let's see. I need one of these. As much as that is a better spot, like, objectively for, um... Uh, what's it called? Jesus Christ. Um, it's objectively a better spot for an ore production facility, but my people do not have, you know, much in the way of defenses up there. <laughs> um, defenses? No. Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't have much in the way of space for people to leave, uh, to live, so live. Again, Necrons. Not exactly the right phrase. Yeah, my dudes are barely even scratching these guys. I might just have to fall back. <clears throat> that sucks. I mean, to be fair, the ruins of all aren't exactly something I really need to worry all that much about. I'm gonna start clearing all these spaces, because... It's much more efficient for him to do it than my other units. Ooh, I want this, though. So I'm gonna just stop right by there and pick that up. Yeah, I think the Space Marines and I have kind of a loose, um... truce of sorts. <laughs> so I'm gonna set my dudes up in kind of a defensive formation here, in case the Space Marines decide they want to come this way. Alright. Yep, I can't really afford to make shit right now, because I don't have power. I need power more than ore at this point. Yep, no, you defend right there. Defend. You, I'm going to have you come back over this way and see if you can't find out what happened to those guardsmen. I hear ship marching and scrambling through the underbrush or growth or whatever, but I don't know what happened to the rest of them. It's kind of annoying. Hmm. Also need to keep an eye out. I know I'm missing them. I found one Necron uh, tomb world or tomb city, tomb whatever. It's not a tomb anything. It's a tomb. It's just not a tomb city at this point, huh? So yeah, I need to keep my eyes open for any others because I've gotten in the habit of, frankly, kind of ignoring them in my other games because. Unless the Necrons were about, they weren't really, it wasn't really a necessary, really wasn't a necessary thing to pay attention to. It was like, hey, yeah, there's green shit in the ground, let's move along. Thank you. Uh, while the stele talk of the ancient Necrontier's victories and glories, this shrine tells a darker story. It details their conversion to metal and subjugation by the Satan, and of Zarek, the Silent King, and his long-planned betrayal and destruction of the soul-eating star gods. Even amongst the soulless Necrons, the, this inspires reverence. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to work my way through all this shit. Clear out the wire weed. Uh, we're gonna go with. Imperial accumu Accumulators. <clears throat> and I'm going to keep an eye... Oh, you motherfucker. Ow. Yeah, goddamn. Everything does more damage to me than it used to. Yeah, Murder and Amble. And this bastard son of the Emperor over here 
he's gonna get a taste of Necron Fury. Yeah, everybody fire on him. Go for it. Everybody shoots. Come on. There you go. Okay. Claiming a new spot. And at some point, oh, that's my biggest issue right now, is I don't have energy to construct new uh, new buildings. Because everything with the Necrons requires energy. God damn. Okay. Oh, more ambles. And that's some bullshit. <laughs> oh, pull back. It's a not a great position for me. Let's see if I can't do something about these guys. I may very well lose this unit. I can't get him out of there. Uh, let's see. Yep, fire away. There we go. Clear notifications and turn. Yeah, get the hell up out of here. Oh, he is definitely dead. That dude is definitely aiming for him. Ah. Okay. Let's pull back to the edge of our territory here. They can have that. I need the energy production, but I'm not really in a position to go to war with the Imperium at the moment. Ooh, shit, every one of those has been costing me 10 energy. Yep, can't be doing that for a while. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be saving resources for a while. I can't even claim new territory. That sucks. I mean, our population's going to go up, but I can't build, like, the Baroque Shrine. I can't build energy cores. In a few turns, I can build energy cores. Three turns, but right now I can't, and that sucks. But either way, though, this is a good place to end the episode. So thank you, everybody, so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that, I'll see you guys next time for some more Gladius Relics of War and the continuation of what will hopefully be an eventual domination of this planet at the hands of the Necrons. Thanks again for watching, guys.